Did you see Michael made his goal? What is wrong with you, United States of America? I am totally ashamed right now. Who makes a GoFundMe makes $25,000 in legal fees when we have people out there who are posting to raise money for sick kids, sick moms, or veterans out there who don't even get $25,000. Wake up, America! This is unacceptable. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you shaking teeth is mad, honey. Honey, she is hotter than a hooker's cooch. <laughs> oh, she mad, mad. Let's get it pop. to my channel sass here i'm here for a quick little video to give you an update on um michael and angela honey this is messy and when i tell you this this is gonna get ugly okay it's a mess all right so we all know the saga of michael and angela well michael is sick and tired of angela okay and so Michael needed help raising money to get an attorney. Well, he got to go for me. And side note, can I just say Mary from Kiki and Kibbe's Child. Mary was one of the main people that got this whole GoFundMe steamrolled because Michael needed some assistance. And so Mary took it upon herself to tiptoe and tap him on the shoulder and say, you need some help. <laughs> you need some help, yeah. And honey, ever since Angela has been in her feelings, probably before that, okay? But honey, Angela cannot stand Mary, child. She is, every time when she has to say Mary's name, honey, she gonna say it. Mary, honey, you got her depends in a bunch. Now, Mary, now why are you doing that to that 75-year-old woman? So, Michael raised $43,000 in his GoFundMe, which shocked me. I was like, are you serious? But he got it done. And not only that, he has already gotten an attorney. Now, let me tell you who this attorney is, child. His attorney is Andrea Johnson. She specializes in family law and immigration, aiding Michael's case. Michael and Angela's legal battle will soon heat up now that he has a lawyer to help beat, to help him beat her accusations. Now see, accusations. Now see, Angela wanted an annulment because she said that she was, you know, Michael done her wrong. Okay? He mistreated her. He, you know, fraudulently, you know, um, misrepresented himself in order for him to come over here to United States. Because as we know, once Michael got in Hazelhurst, Georgia, honey, he had to. He took his feet to the mother freaking street. All right. And Angela, according to her, she don't know where Michael is. Good. Michael, don't go near that woman until you have to go near this woman. Now we have you know, heard of reports that there was some abuse going on, okay? Now, we didn't have to hear some of it. We seen it. See, this is what Angela don't realize. We seen it on television. And one thing about this is that Angela cannot um, destroy or erase any of her social media videos. No videos that she has put out there ranting and raving like a banshee. She cannot erase it. So all of the things that Angela has said and done is out there. 
Okay, and you best believe Michael's attorney is going through all of her rantings and ravings and, you know, just, just, uh. Can you imagine the amount of hours that attorney or the, the assistants or the associate the associates that's involved in the case got to look at hours of video of Angela mistreating Michael? It's on video. Michael says this. The petitioner. Oh, and this is all from Starcasm. Um, I will leave a link to Starcasm down below, child. The petitioner has committed both physical and mental abuse against the respondent. That's Michael talking about Angela. During the course of the party's marriage, this abuse has occurred both privately, privately, let me say it again, y'all, privately and publicly. One more time, privately. And publicly, privately. Okay? Some of this abuse was documented while the parties were present and filming reality television shows that we've seen. That we've seen. Now, see, this is my thing. How, how can you not say that when we've seen it? The abuse is largely what led to the parties separating in February 2024 when the respondent fled like Forrest Gump the marital residence. Now, of course, Angela is, is coming, you know, with her little receipts and her talking points. And she says that she claimed that Michael fraudulently induced petitioner into marriage for the purpose of gaining legal permanent resident status in the United States. Michael is saying that he denies this. The petitioner is entitled to an annulment as the parties entered into and continue to have a lawful marriage. Respondent denies that there has been fraud on his part at any time during the marriage. Like he's really going to admit that. But, let's keep going. Respondent denies that he abandoned the petitioner, but rather states that he fled, like Forrest Gump, in an abusive situation for his own safety. What was going on down there in Hazelhurst, Georgia? That this man says that he is willing to run on a gravel road. To get the heck out that house. Because see that's what he said. He said he rather states that he fled an abusive situation for his own safety. Again, I don't know. I don't know what went on behind closed doors. None of us was there. Okay. It's what he said, she said, and the truth. I can only go by what I Seen on television. Well, we all seen collectively on television. See, that's what I could go by. So Michael wants it dropped. He wants it dropped. He wants the annulment drop. He wants it all dropped. He says, Michael asked that the petitioner's request for an annulment be dismissed for being frivolous and baseless since she failed to include any statutory basis for the claim and because she is fully aware that the marriage was and continues to be valid. Oh, if that wasn't enough, Michael said, you're going to learn today. Oh, you're going to learn today. Because, see, let me tell you what else I'm going to do. Not only is Michael saying that he was abused and why he fled the house, and he is seeking spousal support. <laughs> the respondent shows there is a substantial disparity in income between the parties, and respondent is unable to meet his reasonable financial needs on a monthly basis without continued financial support from petitioner on a temporary and permanent basis. Respondent seeks both temporary and permanent spousal support. Oh, you trying to hit her wallet? Oh, Michael. You trying to hit Angela's wallet? 
Well, I mean, you know, I mean, y'all are married, and she brought you over here to the United States, and is that where you going, Michael? Michael said, let me tell you something, okay? I don't put up with your mouth. I don't put up with your words. I don't put up with your alleged abuse. I'm about to hit your wallet down there in Hazelhurst, Georgia. But see, that's not it. Michael isn't done. Michael's not done. Not only did he surpass his GoFundMe, not only did he get an attorney, not only is he making these claims of mistreatment and he was in fear of his safety, not only is he seeking spousal support, Michael ain't done. Michael said, now, just because I got that $43,000 that Americans Help gave, I'm going to need for you to pay for my attorney fees. Michael also requests that the court require the petitioner to pay for the respondent's attorney's fees and costs of litigation incurred in this proceeding. In addition, Michael's attorney asked the petitioner be sanctioned for abusive litigation. Let me, this, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Is there any more to be said, y'all? I'm going to need for you to get yourself together because, honey, you got a fight on your hands. Let's hope you got A1 attorney because, see, this right here, he is not going to let it go. And isn't this ironic? Shout out to Atlantis Morissette. Isn't it ironic? Hey, don't you think? <laughs> it's like rain on your wedding. Okay? Angela, for years, for years, she has said, Angela, for years, Michael, Michael, look what he's done to me, Michael. You wanted it to shift towards you. You wanted all the support. And boy, has it shifted. The support went to Michael, a Nigerian man. And here you are, an American, getting kicked in the neck. <laughs> uh, Angela, get your stuff together, okay? I'm going to need for you to get the paperwork together, get the attorney together, because, honey, you might as well be ready. And you, might as, you better hope that you got everything in order, because it seems like to me, Michael's attorney isn't playing. That's it, y'all. What y'all think? New subscribers, welcome to the family. And y'all, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Because I'm over here. Also, take a look at my shorts, all right? I've been posting things about Michael and Angela and Love After Locked Up stuff. So y'all go on over there and um, look at my shorts and... um. Y'all like these? Continue to watch them, child, because, honey, I will continue to talk about Angela and Michael, child. What a mess. All right? And until next time, friends, bye.